second. So that's pretty fast compared to the initial x. Huh? So what would the x be in three seconds? Well, the x will be x final is x initial plus vt, right? x initial is 0.1 plus 2 times 3, so 6.1. So the initial x, and since if the velocity is constant, then it's uh, 2 times 3. So 6.1 is the, the final x. So we put that here, L, uh, ln of uh, 6.1 plus 0.15 divided by 6.1. plus, no, I should say, uh, no, minus, right, mu 0 over 10 pi, so uh, 3 squared plus 3, plus uh, x is uh, 6.1 over 6.1 plus 0.15 times 0.15 over x squared, so that's uh, 6.1 squared times dx dt, which is the derivative, which is uh, 2. So EMF equals 7 mu 0 over 10 pi ln of, uh, that's going to be 6.25 over 6.1 minus, uh, that's 9 plus 3, 12 mu 0 over 10 pi, 6.1 over 6.25, times, uh, it's going to be 3 divided by 6.1 squared. Now after that, you just got to put it all in your calculator. No, sorry, 0.3, yeah, 0.3 over 6.1 squared. Let's make it less. Let's make it 10 ohms. Okay. Anyone got that? And then uh, mu zero. Oh, you already put in everything. Everything you put in. Mu zero is four pi times ten to the minus seven. So you put that in. Three point oh nine. This is volts. I'm not surprised that it's small because as you get to, uh, as as the x keeps getting bigger, bigger, bigger. This number is going to approach 1, so the ln of 1 is going to approach 0. And then this number is going to approach a small number. So was it positive or negative? Oh, OK. It looks like this, this one won that one, huh? The current changing effect beat the dragging effect. OK, so part B, if you could ask, find the net force on the coil from the wire so we can find the current in the uh, coil. The current is just the EMF induced divided by 10. So right? So that means that's the current that's flowing through the coil, 3.02 times 10 to the minus 10 amps. OK?
And what is it going to be? Uh, if it's positive, it's going to be counterclockwise is winning, huh? So it's going to be counterclockwise. Okay, so what's going to be the net force? Well, the only force that matters is the front side, the back side, right? So this force, uh, well, actually what's going to happen now, the magnetic field is into, so it's, the force is going to be this way. And this one is going to be like that. So the net force is actually to the right. Because what ended up happening is the current changing as a function of time beat the dragging effect. Okay? So the, uh, we have to take this force and subtract it from that force. So F, uh, let's call this uh, F1, let's say. And then this is F2. So F total equals F1 minus F2. And F1 is I, L. And then you know what? The only thing different about them is the, the B. So it's uh, B1 minus B2. OK? And the L is the length of it this way. So the current is all, we already have 3.02 times ten to the minus 10 amps. The L is the, the length of it, uh, which was uh, uh, 20 centimeters, I believe. And the magnetic field, the difference of the magnetic field is going to be a mu zero i over 2 pi times the 6.1 minus mu zero i over 2 pi 6.25. Oh, so the I is coming in twice, you see. The I comes in because the ILB, the I is there. Then the I comes in again because the magnetic field created by the uh, wire. <clears throat> oh, you know what, though? Hold on. This is not the same I. This I is the eye of the the eye of the this one this eye is the current of this one so actually it's not the same eye cuz it's the the magnetic field created by the wire depends on its eye okay so I guess we could factor out pretty much everything. Uh, 3.02 times 10 to the minus 10. Then I have 0.2. Then the mu zero over 2 pi comes out. And the i comes out. So mu zero over 2 pi is 2 times 10 to the minus 7. i is equal to what? i of the this. What was it? Uh, time equals uh, three seconds. So uh, I was uh, 12 amps, right? So I is the 12 amps. And then the only thing that's left in the parentheses is 1 over 6.1 minus 1 over 6.25. Yeah, it's going to be a very uh, pretty small force. But, but at least it fights against you. Uh, well, actually, in this case, it actually, the net force is to the right. So it actually uh, helps you to drag it because the, of the current increasing effect, you know. So it actually helps you. That's got to be quite a small number, 10 to the minus 17 or whatever. Okay, cool.